Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be bringing you guys part 4 of some of the rarest NPC cars and an easy way to make money in Grand Theft Auto Online. Today, we're going to be focusing on two cars. The first one is going to be the Bravado Gauntlet, and the second one is going to be the Impante Ruiner. Now, I believe this is going to be the final episode of this series, as there aren't any more rare NPC cars that can be found like this. I think there's a rat loader that is located up near uh, Plito Bay, but I didn't think it was worth it. It only sells for for like six or seven grand so i want to cover these last two cars you guys have really enjoyed the series and showed a ton of support so thank you so much for that and let's get into the final episode of the rarest cars and easiest way to make money in grand theft auto online so let's begin so let's start with a bravado gauntlet now like our other few vehicles that are located at the vinewood los santos custom shop we're going to be taking this route right here which is essentially a giant circle around the los santos custom shop you don't want to go right next to it a few blocks away and then make a circle come back to it and this works particularly best between the hours of 9 a.m and 5 p.m and i use this bravado gauntlet just off the street to spawn this rare npc version of the bravado gauntlet it kind of helps if you have the exact same car that you're looking for and in this case I use the bravado gauntlet to spawn this rare NPC car version of the bravado gauntlet as well and you can automatically see it's got a few cool ton of customization options on there which is pretty cool you can see it's got a nice pearlescent paint job we're going to take it in the Los Santos custom shop now unfortunately because the bravado gauntlet doesn't have a lot of upgrades that you can do to it in fact the only thing this thing has is a new paint job and a super lowered suspension along with new wheels and a little bit of a darker window tent so it only sells for around eight thousand dollars you can see eight three two five and that is what you're going to get for this vehicle so one of the lower price vehicles that we've seen so far but nevertheless if you are collecting one of these rare cars this is one of the harder to spawn you know it really took me a while to get this one it was quite the process and it probably took me around two or three days and i'm not talking grand theft auto time i'm literally talking two or three days of me getting on gt online trying for 15 minutes getting off repeating so nevertheless this is a really cool vehicle and this is one of the rarest cars you can get in the game and if you want to sell it you can for about eight thousand thousand dollars. So let's move on to the Impante Ruiner. Now, extremely similarly to the Bravado Gauntlet, it's pretty much the same song and dance right here. You're just going to take a giant loop around the Los Santos Custom Shop. I'm using the Impante Ruiner, and in the exact same spot, this rare black and yellow version of the Impante Ruiner actually spawned in. And this is a great looking vehicle, I'm not going to lie. Some of the randomly generated NPC cars look kind of wanky, but this one is awesome. It's kind of got like a Batmobile Bumblebee style feel, which I think is really cool. So we're going to take it in the Los Santos Custom shop and unlike the bravado gauntlet this has a ton of customization options that are already on there it's got a custom bumper exhaust a crazy spoiler it's got a different hood obviously it's got the custom wheels on there so this is really cool it's got a lowered suspension as well and what's great about this is it sells for a little bit more right at about nine thousand two hundred and five dollars so again you're not going to get a ton of money like this nowhere close to the dubsta 2 but still if you are looking to collect these rare cars or find these super awesome npc vehicles this is what you're going to need to do to complete them i have literally gotten every one so far except for the bolito bay rat loader which again only sells for around seven or six thousand dollars so it wasn't that necessary for me to obtain but i am collecting these vehicles because they are rare and they are new but if you do want to make um you know money off of this you can you can put a tracker on these vehicles and you can use them to spawn more cars like this so it's really cool hopefully you guys have great luck hunting this and do remember that they are rare cars for a reason so they're not going to spawn every time but just be patient and eventually Eventually they will show up so again let me know what you think of this series in the comments section down below what was your favorite NPC car was it the bravado gauntlet was it the dominator you know was it one of the other NPC cars that we looked at that maybe sold for a little bit more money let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily gta 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video